Hey everybody, welcome to Mondays with Mark, Tuesday edition. <laughs> I'm Mark and this is Smokey Stephen Mark. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> How'd you like that? <laughs> oh my gosh, welcome or welcome back. It is so great to see you. It really, really is. I feel like I haven't seen you in like a month or something, you know? I know it's only been a couple days, but it feels that way. Y'all. I'm a married man. We did it. We did it. Uh, we are married. Wow, y'all know that. Oh, thank you, everybody who, um, well, who shared our special day with us for coming to the live stream of the wedding. We had two of them. We had, uh, let's see, one was the ceremony and then one was the reception. And uh, quite a few quite a few people showed up and it was so nice and it seemed like everybody had fun. Did you? Did you? <laughs> if you haven't seen it, you got to go back and see it. It, it was it was really nice. It was, it, it was surreal for me. It was, uh, like, look, I'm already starting to get choked up. No, it, it was really nice. I still have that, like, fuzzy feeling and everything, you know. And we are working on um, a wedding video for you. And, uh, you know, Steve and I will be back together, like, tomorrow and, and, and for the rest of the week. And we're, I, we have pictures to share and stuff. So it, it'll, be, it'll be nice, you know. But uh, it might take a couple days to get that wedding video put together. And we have the honeymoon coming up, too. That'll be, we're leaving Saturday for that. So we want to put that in the video, too. So... Um, I didn't want to spoil anything, but, okay, all right, I'll show one, here, there we go. That's like one of my favorite pictures of the wedding so far, it really is. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many of them, there's like thousands of them, literally. People were starting to like send them in, and we did have a, a family member there who took like, I don't even know, he sent me the folder, I think there was like 3,000 photos on it or something, I haven't even begun to touch it, you know, and, uh, so we'll, we'll definitely be sharing that with everybody, and boy, it was just so nice to, to share all of that with you, it really, really was, so, um, but we couldn't leave you hanging for spooky Stephen Mark either, right? I mean, especially Mondays with Mark, I mean, I knew that I wouldn't have, like, you know, yesterday's Mondays with Mark out. I knew that. We've been really just, I don't know, we've been relaxing and we just kind of been enjoying the last couple days as a married couple, you know? And, and it's been very, very nice, you know? It, it, oh, it, it really is. I I don't know how to explain it, but it's uh, it, it's quite a wonderful feeling and it put, um, well, put a lot of things into perspective for me too of, of of what's important, what's not important, and priorities, you know, um, really, really quite nice, so, but anyway, so, are you ready to eat, drink, and be scary? Oh, man, we have such a fun show tonight, y'all, we are gonna bake, we are gonna cook, we are gonna drink, we are gonna have so much fun, I have a few recipes to share with you, and you know what, we really, really just need to get started, because we have a lot to get to tonight. Oh, yes, we do. So, first up, we're going to head over into the spooky kitchen, and we're going to make some brain soup. <laughs> okay, well, kind of. Flower, right? It does kind of look like brains, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. All right. We have an awesome recipe to make today. Oh, yes. And it's another Instant Pot recipe. We're going to make some creamy, cheesy cauliflower soup, y'all. It is so delicious and so easy to make, too. Just perfect for a chilly, spooky autumn evening. Ooh, okay, let's get started, okay? So in my Instant Pot, set to saute, I have one tablespoon of oil and one tablespoon of butter, okay? And to that, we're gonna add about a cup each of chopped onion, 
chopped carrot and chopped celery. Oh yes, the holy trinity of culinary. <laughs> nice mirepoix there, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got that in there and we're gonna let that saute for four minutes. Ooh, nice and fragrant. Ooh, nice, okay. So to this, we're going to add, oh yeah, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. If you're like a measurement kind of person, that'd be about a quarter teaspoon each. We're gonna be building those flavors, right? Okay, no surprise, I know. All right, and then to that, I have in here a tablespoon of minced garlic and about six or seven sprigs of fresh thyme. Throw that right in there too. Give that a stir and allow that to saute for two additional minutes. Nice. Just make sure you give that a stir every once in a while. We don't want our garlic to burn, right? <laughs> All right. So our next step, we are going to add six cups of chicken broth right to it, just like that. <laughs> and, you know, homemade, store-bought, your choice. And then we have one medium to large head of brains. <laughs> All chopped up into uh, florets or bite-sized pieces, okay? We're going to throw all those in there, just like so, okay? And now we're going to hit cancel, and we're going to seal her all up here. I always do this wrong. Let's see if I got this right this time. Nope. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> and then we are going to pressure cook on high for eight minutes. And now we depressurize. This is like licking the beater when you're a kid for the cake batter. You love doing that, don't you? Oh my god, and the whole room fills with the smell that you didn't smell the whole time <laughs> it was cooking. Ah! Good for your pores, too. Okay, that's all she wrote, so. You want to step in, Chef? I, I certainly could. I can do that here. Uh -oh. We'll just... <laughs> there you go. Ah! Uh, okay. So now we're all decompressed. We're going to open her up. All right. Give her a little stir. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. So at this point, you want to give a little fork test to your cauliflower. I'm sure eight minutes is fine, but maybe if you cut them a little bit larger, you know, you may need to repressurize for another minute or two, but I know we're, we're great. It's perfect. I can tell. So we're going to go right on to our next step. So once again, we're going to season with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, just like so. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to hit cancel. Dun, dun, dun. And then we are going to put it back onto saute. And now we're going to add eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. And uh, as you see, I cut it up in little blocks there just to help it melt a little, okay? So we're going to put that in there and give that a stir until it starts to melt. All right, starting to melt. And now we're going to add one cup, about a cup, of regular whole milk. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. And uh, that probably was a little more than a cup, but it's fine. Okay. And that'll bring that temperature down just a little bit. Enough for our uh, cream cheese to melt even more. Okay. And once you see that your cream cheese has started to melt a little bit. Okay. And it has. Great. This is a perfect opportunity to fish out those thyme sprigs. Let's get them out. All right. Just perfect. Okay. Oh, I think I missed one. Yep, there's a little one right there. Okay, so now, oh yes, we're going to add eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. And I have a mixture here of shredded white and shredded yellow. Oh, this is going to be so good. And it's all sharp cheddar, okay? So we're going to add that all in, except we want to save just a little bit for a garnish for the end, okay? Do, do, do. I think that'll be enough for a garnish. 
All right, and now we continue to stir slowly until all of our cream cheese and cheddar cheese is all melted. Yum. Okay, so when you see, we're on the saute function, and when you see your mixture start to boil, we're going to hit cancel and then put it on keep warm and we're going to continue stirring until there's no lumps left right and a few little lumps there with our uh, cream cheese uh, so we're going to keep stirring and you also have a choice here so you're going to take a look at your soup right and you're going to say hmm would i like that more thick or not i do i like my cauliflower soup to be pretty thick you know but for sure, this is a great consistency too. It's more brothy. So that's where our slurry comes in. A nice quick way to thicken up our soup right at the end, okay? So in here, I have two heaping tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of cold water. And then we mix it up with, with a whisk until there's no lumps left in there. And we're gonna start by adding half while we're stirring just like that and we're going to continue to stir and you'll see in a minute or two it'll thicken up and then if you want it even more thick than that then we add the rest <laughs> and that's all there is to it we are done oh my gosh so now we just serve this up in a nice bowl oh i can't wait to have this for dinner tonight i've been wanting to have some cauliflower soup for yeah, a long time. It's been a while, yeah. I know, I'm glad I got around to making it. We've been making a lot of soups recently. Um, and uh, this is one that I definitely didn't want to get away from me. There's that, and then of course, we're gonna top with some additional shredded cheddar cheese. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. All right, and you know what? Feel free to top it with some crumbled bacon, maybe some sliced green onions. Oh, go to town with this soup, okay? And there you have it, our creamy, cheesy cauliflower soup. <laughs> Hey guys, hey, welcome to Bottles Up. Ah, yes. Oh, I just, I'm sorry. I love that intro. I love the music. I, you like the shaker? <laughs> All right. Anyway, so happy spooky season to you. Oh, we have an awesome cocktail to make today just in time for Halloween. And two simple ingredients. I guess it's not really a cocktail as much as it is a wine spritzer. Oh yes, we are gonna make a ghostly white wine spritzer. And did I mention it glows in the dark? <laughs> yes, it does. So easy to make. Let's get right to it. So all we need is a white wine of your choice. Oh yeah. And then we need some tonic water and that's just about it really okay and the first thing we're going to do we're going to be making some ice cubes out of our tonic water and to do that all you have to do is well make ice cubes out of tonic water there's nothing special at all it'll freeze just like water okay and why are we using tonic water well besides the taste of it it does have quinine in it and quinine actually reacts with black lights yes it does so it will give our drink a nice glow or shall i say an eerie ghostly glow <laughs> yes it will all right it's as simple as this y'all just fill your glass up with ice i guess i need some uh some bar tongs huh okay it's on the list. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna fill it up with our white wine, just like that. Again, as much as you want. We'll do about that much. 
And then we're just gonna top it off with just a splash of our tonic water. Just a, maybe a little more than a splash, about that much, okay? And that is all there is to it. That is all that is in this drink. That's it, and it is absolutely delicious. Now, for the little finishing touch to it, oh yeah, look what I have right here. Ghost Peeps, oh yes! This is a ghostly white wine spritzer, right? I just sliced him right up the middle there. We're gonna put him right on the side of the glass, just like that. Nice, huh? And that is our ghostly white wine spritzer. Oh, yes. So, want to see it glow in the dark? Oh, I just happen to have a black light ready to go here. Turn my light off here. And can I have my production staff uh, dim the lights, please? <laughs> there you go, it glows. Oh, I hope you can see it with this camera. I don't, if you can see it here, it's glowing. It looks really awesome. Let's see if I can get it from this side, maybe. Dun, dun, dun. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it on camera. <laughs> oh, it looks so awesome. It's so eerie. <laughs> oh, what a fun drink, huh? Oh my gosh, it glows. It's like really cool. Now, that, that little ghost peep there, oh, you will be surprised at how much it complements this drink. It really does. The sweetness of it. It's really, really awesome with this drink. I know everybody's just gonna be dunking that in there to eat it. Oh yeah, they will, trust me, they will. Oh my gosh! As a matter of fact, in our next episode of Bottles Up, oh yes, it's all about grown-up time at Halloween with candy. We're gonna take a look at how to pair wines with our Halloween candy on the next Bottles Up. <laughs> All right, everybody, there you have it. Our ghostly white wine spritzer. <laughs>
three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder, one teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. <laughs> now, I do have all of our wet ingredients in another bowl here, but I said this was a one bowl recipe, so you can just put all of the wet ingredients right into the dry ingredients, okay? So, these are the wet ingredients. We have two eggs at room temperature, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, also at room temperature, three quarters of a cup of strong black coffee, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then we have one third of a cup plus one tablespoon of vegetable oil or any cooking oil of your choice, okay? Y'all, it is as simple as this. And we're gonna just whisk our dry ingredients together there a little bit. Oh yeah. We're just gonna add our wet ingredients right to our dry ingredients. And like I said before, you know what? Just add your eggs, add your oil, just add it right to the dry ingredients. You don't need to dirty another bowl like I did, you know? <laughs> And then all we're going to do is we're just going to whisk that together until it's all nice and combined. Seriously, you don't even need to get your mixer out for this. Just by hand. We just want to make sure everything is moistened and it's nice and smooth. All right, we're all ready to go. Now, as you can see, this is a very runny batter, and that's what you want. That's perfectly fine for this, okay? Now, this recipe will make enough for two eight-inch rounds or two nine-inch rounds or a, or a nine by 13, but today, we're gonna be making, I'm gonna be using these little six-inch pans here for our black magic cake. Oh, yeah, and I'll have a little bit of batter left over, so maybe I'll make a couple cupcakes. I don't know, we'll see, all right? And spray so them all nice with our cooking spray, and we're gonna dust them with flour. All right, there we go. They're all ready to go. All right, so now we're just gonna scale our batter into our pans. I know, pretty self-explanatory here. And we're gonna go a little more than halfway full. All right, there we go. See, I have enough here probably for, oh, I don't know be like six cupcakes. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so, okay, our batter's in, and now we're gonna bake. So we're gonna bake these in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Y'all know the drill. You just test it out. You know, you're just gonna like touch it. Like if it bounces back, springs right back on you, I'll you're good. See you when they're done. A few moments later. You know what I was thinking? While our cake is in the oven, this would be a perfect time to make our filling and our topping. Oh yeah, and they're both chocolate too, of course, right? <laughs> so for our filling, we're gonna be making a whipped dark chocolate ganache. Oh yes, my favorite. And then for the topping, we're gonna make a milk chocolate ganache. Wonderful, right? All right, so to do that in one bowl here, oh yes, I have an entire package of dark chocolate chips. And I went with Ghirardelli because I love their dark chocolate, right? Now their bags are 10 ounces. So to that, I also added the equivalent 10 ounces of heavy cream, which is hot. Now, hot, we want it just before the boiling point. And you could do that in the microwave or on top of the stove, however you want so to do I it. I poured it in there and I let it sit for, oh, just a minute or two to kind of warm up that chocolate. And then we're gonna take a whisk and we're just gonna gently stir until it gets all nice and combined and shiny. This is kind of where the magic comes into our black magic cake. I always thought that making ganache was like magic because it looks like this. And then before you know it, ta-da! To looking like this. <laughs> magic, right? Magic. <laughs> All right. So that's ready to go. This is our dark chocolate ganache. So the next step with this is we have to whip it. But in order to do that, we need to let it cool down a little bit. So just perfect because our cake is baking. We have a couple minutes. So we're just going to set this aside. Now, if you want to speed up that process, just pop it into the fridge at five minute intervals and give it a little stir in between 
between each time, okay? We're looking for no more colder than like room temperature, okay? Okay. And in this bowl here, this is our topping. And for that, I used, oh yeah, Hershey's milk chocolate. Of course I did love Hershey's milk chocolate. And we used a half a bag for this. And that would be about six ounces because all the other bags outside of Ghirardelli for some reason are, uh, you know, between 11 and 12 ounces. Ghirardelli is 10 ounces. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so we've got about six ounces of milk chocolate chips in there to the equivalent of six ounces of hot whipping cream or heavy cream. And we're gonna do the same thing we did with our dark chocolate. Stir it all up until the magic happens. Ta-da! <laughs> magic, magic, I love it. <laughs> all right, so this is our topping and we have our filling cooling. We're gonna set both of those aside. Okay, Um, I guess I'll see you once the cake comes out. Nice, okay, okay. So to speed things up a little bit, I got the cakes out of the oven and which by the way, exactly 30 minutes, like exactly, pretty crazy. And uh, I cooled them all off and I torted them, so we're ready to go. And torting, torting, all that means is cutting a cake in half, just like this. <laughs> so we have layers. So we had two cakes, we cut them in half, so we have four layers. This is gonna be a four layer tall cake. It's gonna be so awesome. So we have one layer down on the bottom here, and we gotta fill it with our whipped chocolate ganache. I think we're room temperature. <laughs> so what we're going to do is whip this up. Now I have my stand mixer out here. You can also use a, a, a hand mixer as well. And we're going to whip um, it until it's nice and fluffy. And well, here, let's just do it, okay? It's like magic again. <laughs> there we go. That's what we are looking for. We are just going to put our filling in between each of our layers. And you can be as messy as you want with this stuff. Just love it because we're going to spread it a little bit on the sides too. And now we're just going to kind of smooth it around the outside. So now we're all covered there. And you can see that, you know, you can see the layers. You can see the crumbs and all that. That's kind of what we want it to look like there. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to clean our plate all up and pop this baby into the fridge for 10 minutes. And we're going to get our ganache topping together. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Our milk chocolate ganache we had just setting out this whole time. It's about at room temperature. It's perfect for pouring, y'all. Oh, yes. And that is what we're going to do. We're going to pour this all over the top of our cake. This is the fun part. Dun, 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 and let that drip down and pull all over the bottom. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay. And you feel free to use as much or as little as you want. It's, it, you know... This is your cake, right? You could cover the whole thing. You could leave a drip down like that, give a little creepy effect, however you want to do it. Now, since this is a black magic cake, we have to add a little shimmer, right? Oh yeah. We have some luster dust here. Oh yeah. Most of your luster dust is, if you, if you get these, have a little pump on them like this so you can spray it, kind of, you know, like that. So we're just gonna kind of, far away, we're just gonna kind of, Sides. <laughs> Looks cool. And it just adds a little bit of shimmer and shine to the already shimmering and shining ganache, right? Looks cool, huh? All right. So this is Halloween, right? And we have to have some spooky aspect to this, right? How about some really cute bat toppers. Oh yes, we're just gonna stick these right in the center y'all, just like that. Have another one here. Here, we'll put him so in this Oh, cool. Oh, hmm. Would you like to know how I made these babies? It's so easy and so cool. 
Okay, so we have some creepy yet cute bat toppers to make for our cake. It's so easy. All you need, guys, is some black ribbon. So all I did was I cut some black ribbon, oh, say about four to six inches. Then I just made a knot in it. Oh, yeah. And then I just made some rough cuts to either side of the ribbon. Mm hmm And then I just took a white paint pen and dotted the eyes. And that's all there is to it. And then I just, I just, I just hot glued them right to the top of a piece of greenery from the Dollar Tree. It really adds something to it. And it's as easy as that. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's see if we can do the ending here. I don't know. All right. There we go. <laughs> and there you have it, our black magic cake. Ah! Cool, huh? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh man, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I, I really am. It's a delicious cake. And you know what? I'm going to take this into work uh, tomorrow. And uh, when I cut it, I'll, I'll take some pictures and, and add it to the video or post it over on Facebook. So you can see like the inside with all the layers. You know, I should have just cut it, but I kind of wanted them to see it like whole first. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that was our black magic cake. Ooh, ooh, I can't way to dig into it. Although we've had so many cupcakes and pastries since the wedding. I'm not sure about this diet, but you know what? The diet was for the wedding, right? So, hey, I don't have to worry about it now, right? Right? <laughs> no, you know what? I have to say, as far as the diet goes, I do feel good. Like, I, I can, I notice a difference. I can feel a difference. Uh, from losing that weight, and uh, I'm gonna keep on going. I am. Yep, I am. I am. I'm gonna. Let's, should I? Should I? Should I pinky promise? Should I? All right, we'll pinky promise right now. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna get my. I didn't hit my target. My target was 180, and I got down to 190. So another 10 pounds. I can do that. I can. So. It's just do I want to or not. Okay, we're not even going to talk about it anymore. All right, so I think I've kept you long enough tonight. You're probably so sick of hearing my voice. And I'm I'm hoarse. I'm hoarse. Not from tonight. It, it, it was from the wedding. It was so loud in there. Like, my voice has been scratchy since Saturday night. It's really something else. So I think after I'm done tonight, I'm not going to say another word until tomorrow night. Okay? I'll try anyway. I know everyone's saying, yeah, right. Yeah, uh-huh. But this is Halloween week, y'all. Yes, it is. So head on over to our Facebook page because we just happen to have about six t-shirts left and we're giving them all away. Yes, we are. And it couldn't be easier. Just head over to Facebook and check out our contest post. All you have to do is comment below the post and we're going to randomly pick winners rest of the week, okay? So it's your last chance to get our 2022 spooky, spooky t-shirts. Ooh, yes! <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for spending your time with me this evening. It really does mean the world to me. Definitely hit that subscribe button, okay? Check us out over on Facebook and Instagram. I'll post all the recipes that we did today over there, and uh, all of our contact information is listed right down below. That would be our PO address and uh, our email address. If you have any questions or anything about what we made tonight, just shoot me an email. It's the easiest way to reach me, okay? Thank you again, everybody. We will see you soon. And remember, stay spooky. <laughs> Ciao, everybody. <laughs>